evening and good evening. I am Zanji Kick, and welcome to video number 28, I believe, of Let's Play Sweet Coden. Um, let's see, last time we recorded all the characters that were not related to the story, so everyone else is story based. Um, what else? We also looked a bit into, I guess, uh, the stories of the world and how the runes came to be. Though I doubt there actually was a darkness that created a tear, that created a sword and a shield that fought, and the, and the jewels of the sword and shield became the runes. But whatever. <laughs> um, either way, we are now setting just outside of the fortress or castle of Kasim Hazil, one of the great imperial generals. Um, we Matthew tricked everyone, thinking that the Liberation Army was just out doing drills today, but it was actually a surprise attack on the Imperials on the way to this location. And he also revealed that there is a spy among us. We don't know who yet. Hopefully we will. Um, and now with my current party, including Kasumi and Kren, let's go in. I love how none of the soldiers saw you, even though you were just right there, main character. Thank you, Corinne. Thank you, Kryn. <laughs> the other soldier said nothing? <laughs> Yay, paint! Well, let's see what he says. Really? Oh. I keep forgetting that guy was there. Oh well. You just defend, Karen. I don't. I don't think I need you in this battle too much. Go flick! And when seal, I need to update you. I'm gonna use him later, Ron, and there's a reason for it. Not just not an important one, I just prefer using him. The heck is that? So either Kasumi, Kai, or Kryn. I'll give it to Kai, because Kai, I am keeping with you. I am keeping you with me throughout the rest of the game. Master Robe. You're not getting it, Kryn. <laughs> Kasumi. And Ninja Suit. Can I get... I am not giving it to you, Kryn. You can keep your tunic. Ooh! Omegas and ninjas! Oh well. I'm gonna send them to hell. <laughs> Not even ninjas can escape hell. 
Unless they have some magic eye power nonsense. <coughs> now we're going <coughs> One ninja! Go Kasumi. Go me! <laughs> okay, elite soldiers, that makes sense. Why did Kasim Hazil have ninjas and maguses inside his fortress? I'm just asking. Rencio, we need to update your weapon and armor and everything. You took us in Or at least your weapon. Yay! Guard dogs! I'm sorry. Hellhounds! No dogs to order. Oh well. Thank you, Grand Seal. Good job. Friends leveling up. I still won't use him. Small hop. <laughs> Okay, that's acceptable. And it's a suplex! <laughs> no dogs to order around. Thank you, Kasumi. You probably could, but I can't. <laughs> Yay, nothing like walking on rope. Like it's no big deal. <laughs> Needles! Seriously? Give it a crin. Am I barely hurt? Not really. But I'd rather do that. I just have a weird feeling I'm forgetting something. And it's not the Magus. You know what? Ah, it's been a while. Deadly fingertips.
Be quiet, Victor. Korea, that is not a smart thing to say. Hence, not a smart thing to say. <laughs> So, Warren, I love your scarf and whatever headdress that is, because it looks like you have a feather coming out of your head. Wait, wait, wait. The blonde with the rose cape. That looks familiar. The Jousted Army. Matthew, you cunning fox. In the last video, in one of the old books, there was talk about the, Kal the Kaleka incident between the city-state and the Empire. The city-state is the city-state of Jousted. So yeah, <laughs> good job, Matthew. Take care of business outside. You're safe. Yo. Leash! You know, a thought just occurred to me. If when you, the option that came to whether to kill Malish or let him live, what would happen in this scene if Malish was not here? Maybe one of the, one of the other generals comes in, I don't know. Quiet, Victor. <laughs> However, not yet. They, they don't even say a thing. Here we go. It's Vincent! The Bull! <laughs> 
Oh, my name was Vincent. You said Vincent, but isn't your name Vincent? Or am I missing something? Ooh, Mother Earth Crystal, sweet! And we are finally out. Oof. Now, before we go back to base, there's something we do have to do in order to get the rest of the characters. Besides fighting mirages and whatnot. You know what? Do it. I want to see what happens. Ball of lightning. Come on. It's not a ball at all! <laughs> Pretty powerful. It's still not a ball. <laughs> you lied to me. Northern checkpoint. Here we go. Hello, Max. Ah, the Maximilian Knights. I'm not... I don't know too much about the Order, but I do believe they're in every Sweet Coding game. I think they are. I have seen them many, many times. They're in this game, I think... I'm pretty sure they're in Sweet Coding 2. I think Max is actually in Sweet Coding 2. They're in Sweet Coding 3, but it's a different uh, Maximilian Knight. I'm not too sure about 4. I think there's a version of them in 5 as well. But let's recruit them. And the reason we went back for Vincent right away is because if we don't, he kind of just disappears. Most likely, Maximilian destroys everything inside the castle. <laughs> Yay! Max joins! I love his mustache! And Sancho joins! Not as great of a mustache, but awesome mustache. But nothing beats Maximilian's mustache. Alright, let's return to base. And let me quickly rest. Hello, Victor. Actually, let me check something. Yeah, let me just... I'll just go straight to Matthew. Big meeting.
Wait, what do you say about Odessa? Alright, Matthew, let's talk. Hmm. Wait. So by water or by land? Oh, and I... 500! Holy crap! <clears throat> and let me say this right now. For, um, at this point in the game, you need to have recruited all the side characters at this point. If not, you will not get all 108 characters. No joke, no lie. It is by this point you need to recruit everyone. If not, that's it. And I agree with Lepant there. Lepant, 500 boats? I want to say that's impossible, but I want to say, all right, let's get to work. Of course, I should have saved, but it is by that point, before that meeting, you have to get all 108 characters. That's why I always try to do it before entering Kasim Hazil's uh, castle. And Humphrey speaks. Really? It's possible that's what written in the books that they mentioned how the city state burned everything, and the Imperials attacked everyone? That may have been fabricated by the Empire, so it's possible that it wasn't that the city-state burned everything, maybe there was, they just had a battle there, and the Empire was too eager to finish off the city-state, or vice versa, which led to the town being destroyed. That would explain why Humphrey left Besides attacking his commander. And why Matthew left as well. Ah, it's Gen. Thank you, Gen. Ah. Buddies! Actually, that scene is a little different if, um, obviously if Pawn doesn't make it. She actually asks for, uh, Master Teal and Pawn to lend her strength in tomorrow's battle. Oh, Kimberly.
There's three of you there. <laughs> Poor Kimberly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Yamko. Young lovebirds. All these scenes really show you what a big battle it's going to be. Everyone's on edge. Uh, almost everyone. No one cares for you, Corinne. Dang it, Victor, why couldn't it be a lovely young lady? <laughs> a hatchet? Could it be? Yes, it is. Unless the cup rack is a hatchet, but whatever. Thank you, Pawn. Wait, is Leon here? No. Uh, oh well. Yes, I would have to talk. Oh no, I don't talk to them. You. Actually, I could be wrong, but this might be the last point where you can recruit people. Either way, let's save. Wait, I just did that, but whatever. Let's see, this one. Fifty-four! Yay! Alright everyone, let's see. I will end, I will end this video here. We've been going on for a while. Um let's see. We entered the Custom Hazil's Castle and we're able to get Victor and Warren back. Had 
and we're able to recruit Kasim Hazil thanks to Milish stepping in and convincing him we're loyal to the Emperor. That means if the Emperor is at fault, we need to let him know. We need to open his eyes to what is going on, to everything, because he apparently does not realize what's happening. Um, I wonder what, ha what would have happened if Milish wasn't there, if he was dead, but whatever. Then we had to re-enter the castle to recruit one person, and we recruited some Maximilian Knights. Yay, they have awesome mustaches. And now we are about to attack the Water Fortress. With 500 boats, apparently. Let's find out how Matthew pulled this one through. Alright, everyone, next time we attack the, uh, I guess the Water Castle. I don't even know how I'm going to pronounce the name, so I'm going to avoid that for now until I see the name again. <laughs> and so until then, everyone, have a great evening and farewell.